Welcome newly elected 4-H club treasurers. We are excited to provide you with the club officer training for the treasurer position. First off, we would like to offer congratulations since your 4-H club has chosen you to be the club treasurer. You have taken on a very important position, one of my favorites. Let's start out with what it means to be the 4-H club treasurer. Being the treasurer means that you are responsible for keeping the club's financial records. This is a very important responsibility. As the club treasurer, you will have many duties. You will chair your club finance and fundraising committees. You will work with your club president, vice president, and leaders to prepare a club budget with the committee. You will keep an accurate account of all money received as well as its sources. You will maintain an accurate account of paid expenses or money going out showing to whom and why the money was paid. You will manage the club's monthly ledger, keeping it up to date with expenses and income. You will prepare and present an income and expense summary at each meeting. You will work with the club leader to fill out fundraising forms. When you take money in, you will provide receipts as needed. Finally, you will deposit club funds to the 4-H office. This should be done accurately and promptly. Discuss club budgets. At the beginning of each year, club officers should sit down with the club members and determine what types of projects and activities that they would like to do during the year. After it has been decided as to what the club would like to do, a budget will need to be created. Remember that a bu budget determines how much should be a spent on each specific activity or event. A budget should include your estimated income and expenses for the year. By doing this, you can see how much money your club needs. The budget should be developed by you, the club treasurer, with the help of a budget or finance committee and the guidance of your club leader. The budget or finance committee may be composed of club members or club officers. Before you can create a budget, you need to establish the following. How much money does your club have now? This is your balance on hand or beginning balance for the year. You can talk to your club leader or your 4-H agent to determine how much money your club currently has. Next, what activities are being planned by the club during the coming year? Are you doing trips? A community service activity? Are you going to a competition? What is the estimated cost of each activity? Next, which county or state events will members be participating in during the coming year? Do you have members going to summer camp, university, the state fair? How much should the club provide towards the members' participation? Would you like to use some of your club money to help them go to these different events? Finally, do any of the club officers have any expenses? For example, picture printing costs for the club reporter or historian. How much do they need to complete their tasks? Here are some additional questions that you can consider. Does the club plan on buying t-shirts or jackets this year? What about club awards? Will you be get, giving out end of the year recognition for club members? Do you want to give out officer pins to your new club officers? How much should we spend on these things? What about meeting expenses? Do you have any? Will you be having a holiday party which you need to purchase something for? What fundraisers does your club plan on participating in? How much money do you think you'll raise on that fundraiser? Finally, will your club charge member dues? And if so, how much do you want to charge? You will use all of the answers to the questions we previously discussed to fill out the club budget outline. The club budget outline should include projected expenses as well as projected income. Here is a sample club budget based on the club budget outline. For this sample club, the balance on hand was $249. The club field trip to the dairy farm cost $100. They helped refurbish their school garden, which was $50.
and had a club fair booth entry which cost 20. They used $30 to print photos and spent $50 on officer pins. $125 was spent on club t-shirts. They had a club bake sale which, ha which they earned $200. They had a clay shoot which they received $750 and they spent $500 towards summer camp registration fees. They received a donation from a community resident for $300 and they wrote a grant to Walmart and received $500. They brought in $140 in club dues, but spent $80 on holiday party supplies. They spent $350 to help send 4-H members to 4-H University. On page 12 of the Florida 4-H Treasurer's Manual, you can create a sample club budget outline using these expenses and income. Once you have created a sample, you can then work with your club members on the committee to create your club budget for the year. Remember that your expenses and incomes will not match what we have here, but you will need to create your own using the answers to the questions that we discussed on the previous slides. More specifically about income and expenses. Income is money that comes into your club. Income comes into. This could include money received from things such as dues, fundraisers, and donations. Expenses, on the other hand, is money that goes out of your club, money that you have spent. Expenses should be things that your club pays for, such as supplies for meetings or projects, and scholarships. This could be a scholarship for a club event or for 4-H members to go to things such as 4-H summer camp or 4-H university. Again, four types of club income could be club dues, club fundraising, donations, and grants. Remember that in order to write a grant, you need to go through your 4-H agent. Club dues are some optional income that your club may decide to use. Many 4-H clubs charge members dues. These dues will go towards different 4-H club activities throughout the year. This gives the club money to participate in group projects and do the activities that they would like to do. Club dues may be sent in your club's bylaws or annually by your club's membership as you prepare your annual club budget. These dues could range from $1 to $20, depending on what your club would like to use the money towards. Oftentimes, club dues are used rather than completing club fundraisers. Co club fundraising is a great way for your club to generate income for planned activities. Fundraisers should be fun for all of your members as well as profitable. Some fundraising ideas include, but are not limited to, auctions, babysitting, bake sales, walkathon, product sales, garage sales or yard sales, homemade crafts, car washes, as well as dances. There are guidelines that need to be followed when fundraising. Pre-approval is needed and mandatory in order to start a fundraising activity. All fundraisers should be submitted to the county 4-H agent via the fundraising forms. Please work with your leaders to complete club fundraising forms for each fundraiser well in advance of starting the event. Here are some guidelines for planning your fundraisers. You should always raise funds with a purpose. Only raise money if it's needed and will be used for specific educational purposes. It is not just to add funds to your 4-H club account. Again, you must get approval. Contact your lo local extension office before making any definite plans. You should always plan effectively. Plan the fundraising activity so that the customer will receive value for the money that they spend and your club members can have fun. Promotion is key. Once your fundraiser activity has been approved, get the word out about what you're doing. Inform the public and potential customers. Be sure to let them know who you are, what you're doing or providing, 
when and where the event will take place, and how and why it will benefit the community. Make sure to keep a fundraiser as a learning experience. A fundraiser should help club members get to know one another better while at the same time allowing them to learn about budgeting and resource allocation. Finally, make sure to account for all of your money. Remember that as the club treasurer, you are responsible for collecting and depositing money raised by the activity, for paying any bills, and for properly recording the receipts and expenses from the fundraiser. You should record any money deposited into the club bank account in your account ledger and in the correct monthly ledger for incoming income and expense found in your Florida 4-H Treasurer's Manual. Fundraising permission forms can be found in the Florida 4-H Treasurer's Manual and Record Book. 4-H fundraising permission slips needed to be completely filled out and submitted to the 4-H agent for approval. Here you can see an example of a fundraising permission form. Again, these can be found in the Treasurer's Manual and Record Book. Please make sure when completing this form that you include the club name, the club leader's name, the description of the project that you plan to complete as a fundraiser, what the funds will be used for, what adults will be responsible for the project and on site during the fundraiser, when the fundraiser will take place as well as where it will take place, and who is submitting the forms. Your club may accept club donations. These donations should always be in support of your 4-H club or 4-H as a whole if it has been approved by the 4-H agent. Donations can include cash and non-cash gifts. Non-cash gifts are goods or services where no cash is exchanged, such as a gift or property or time. When the gifts are considered small, less than $100 in value, the club may coordinate the process. If the value of a gift exceeds $100, or if the giver requests a documenting letter for tax benefit, then your club should seek help from the county 4-H agent. When speaking about grants, a grant is money given in return for an action promised. In other words, a specific amount of money is given to your club with the understanding that it will be only used for the agreed upon purpose. If the money is not used for the agreed upon purpose, the money must be returned. It is important to understand that grant requests must be approved through the county extension office and that neither a member or club leader can sign a grant or a contract. Grants are one-time allocations that can be used to start a program or a project. When receiving money, you must write a receipt. A receipt is written from recording the amount of money received. Without a receipt, you cannot prove that your club received the money. Your club should have a receipt book with pre-numbered duplicate pages. Give the original copy to the donor or a customer and keep the duplicate copy for your club. You will be required to make deposits to the County 4-H office. All the funds that your club receives should be taken immediately to your County 4-H office. Your club account is held with your County 4-H association and then deposited funds into the account should be earmarked for your club. Follow the county procedures for making your deposits. It is important to let your 4-H agent or the 4-H program assistant know when you will be bringing in deposits so that they are make a making sure that they are able to make those deposits for you at your local bank. When you are preparing a bank deposit, you will total your receipts and then total the amount of money you have in cash and checks. The two totals should equal one another. You should endorse all checks right before you give them to the County 4-H agent. Fill out the monies received form or a deposit form given to you by the County 4-H Association. Make sure to fill it out completely. Club expenses are things like supplies for meetings and projects, scholarship to 4-H events, and other things that have educational purpose that are part of your planned 4-H program. The club's income is used to pay these expenses. Part of the treasurer's job is knowing what your club can and cannot pay for before making a request to use the club funds. Check with your 4-H agent to determine if there are things that you cannot spend your money on. 
Filling out the check reimbursement request form is the way that you will pay for things out of your club's account. Make sure that you have the correct check request form from your County 4-H Association and that all receipts are attached. Follow the instructions that your County 4-H Association provides to know how far in advance you must request a check before it will be mailed to you. Remember to record all income in the monthly ledger so that you know how much money that you have. Report all cl at club meetings all monthly expenditures and income and balance the club's monthly statement against what you have entered in the monthly expense ledger. Your 4-H agent or your club leader should have provided you with the 4-H Treasurer's Record Book. If you need another copy or to look at a, an e-version, you can access the 4-H Treasurer's Record Book at the address located on this page. Remember to contact your club leader or 4-H agent with any questions that you may have. Please, please, please take the evaluation to gain credit for taking this club officer training. Make sure that you do that now, now that you've completed the officer training. We wish you the best this year in your new position, and we would also like to offer you congratulations on being elected. We hope that you do great things this year and learn all about being the club treasurer.